This is a uh, the first part of three throughout this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm presenting on this particular issue of Rav Moshe's on the topic of learning from a book during Chazar Sashat. Uh, and and what is it, Mutar, uh, Asur, whatever. Um, so this, so uh, Rav Moshe answers is responding in the uh, spring of 1974. The uh, Shoel of this uh, particular issue was actually um, Rabbi Weiss's father-in-law. Um, so it's Rabbi Joe Weiss's grand, maternal grandfather. So it's kind of shy after to. Uh, How did you know that? Was that written in the children? It's not actually. I googled it. <laughs> so I, 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 I emailed Rabbi, I, I emailed Rabbi Dove about it, and he sent me this huge email with information about his grandfather. Wow. Right. And it's at the, the footnote is he was born in 1910, died in 1993, he was born in Austria, he died living in Brooklyn. His daughter is Toby. Um, he wrote a couple of books. He wrote a couple of books published by uh, Feldheim, My Soul Thirst, and a, and a second and a follow. What's his name? Rabbi Zalman Ari Hilsenrat. Um, and then a, a sequel to that, My Soul Thirst Still. They're like inspirational stories in these books. Um, uh, it's interesting. Rav Moshe addresses him in this, like, um, a lot of honorific language, but um, he actually did not uh, formally ever receive smicha, this uh, Rabbi Hilsenrad. But um, as Rabbi Dove White pointed out to me, he was still a very, very learned and pious man. So his, his question is, can you, um, can you actually look into a safe for the So. Um, in this first section out of the three that we'll be looking into this particular tshuva, Rav Moshe now delves into um, Rabbi Avraham Gominer's uh, opinion on this and his Magin Avraham. Uh, I'm not going to go through this. It's available at my website. I sent out the link on the list of last <laughs> night. So you can uh, see it as, uh, as we'll be proceeding throughout the week. We'll be updating. <laughs> it's, on the, it's on the internet. <laughs> So um, this this first one he he goes um, talks about Magen Abraham who's quoting uh, Rabbi Menachem Mazari Defano who um, was uh, about the turn of the 17th century who said that uh, those who learn even they, they can um, as if they're learning at the time of the actual Chazar Sashas of the blessings it's fine as long as they answer a main to the end of the blessing that's what's important uh, and they can that they're they're silent and then they say a main but. So Medina, that's fine. You're allowed to do that. It's not preferable. However, he then quotes Rabbi Shabzi Sheftel Horowitz, a 17th century rabbi in his book, Bavi Amudim, The Pillar's Hooks, that um, he points to the Ramah in, uh, um, nine, in, uh, in Orachayim, who says um, that someone who's Torah so manaso, that you're a lot, that According to law, he is to pray in the, the base medrash in which he learns, that he usually learns, even without ten. You can do this um, even uh, omitting a minion, but he shouldn't normally do so so that other people don't say, oh, he's just staying in the base medrash and not going to the base finesses. So he's doing that, so we also don't have to go to the base finesses. So you should, he, this, this um, I guess this person who's always learning shouldn't always do this, but sometimes he can stay in the base medrash and sometimes he really should go to the base finesses. But then, uh, the Ramah concludes there that all the more so that he should not involve him, himself in the Torah and the in, uh, basic Knesset at the time they're saying Tachnunim Uslichos. So they're Slichos with Tachnunim, which is interesting. So now he then, then Rabbi Horowitz then in his Vav Amudim then derives from there that not to learn at the time of saying Slichos and Tachnunim when people are actively involved in something and now making this move to something that's more passive of learning at the time of just being there at the um, Chazar Sashat. And that even though um, that's, um, that's totally fine according to um, Medina, that's not however, that, that you probably shouldn't do that. And here's, here's uh, the thing upon which to keep, is that Mikomakom lo yasekein mochin bo kadeshul yomu acherimimenu vehim lo yichavenu gam l'sofa bracha. So it's fine according to uh, Medina that during the Bizman Chazar Sashat and saying the brachas, you can learn as long as you say Amen to the end of each, um, each separate bracha. However, those other people, um, the rest of the, the people, may <coughs> see this particular fellow who's learning, and he's answering, and they'll learn, but they won't, they won't even answer. They'll just do their own thing, or read, or, or take into their, um, their own activities. And then uh, Rav Moshe finishes up this particular section with saying, 
also the math, uh, the math assist, uh, Shackle and Karim and Gaudium also agree that this is the way to understand the McGain of Avraham on this particular time. So uh, we'll return Wednesday and Thursday for the conclusion of this Chuba of Rundle.